Today is Wednesday and I'm thinking about next Thursday. It's Thanksgiving. I need an outfit. I could just throw on some sweatpants or some jeans. I like to, you know, try to dress up. So, yeah. I'm gonna make something for Thanksgiving and it's gonna be a little bit dramatic. <laughs> but, you know, whatevs. So, I have three chambray skirts in three different colors. I wish this one was a little bit more towards the light, in my opinion, too close to the dark, but whatever, we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go top to bottom light to dark and i think i use this for the jumpsuit i think it's a very easy pattern i like the way it fits it's a vogue pattern vogue number 1471 i already pulled my pieces out let's get to work i start off by removing the elastic waistband i am going to use this for the back of the dress and then i cut away the bottom tier of the skirt i'm going to use that to uh, make the bodice. So I'll cut the front, back, and sleeves. I position my pattern right in the middle of these two tiers so that I get that gathered detail on the sleeve. Now following the pattern, I just start putting the top together. I mark my darts, sew them in place, connect the front of the top to the back of the top. I close the sleeves. I do a running stitch on top of the shoulder and then I connect the sleeve to the rest of the top. I put the front waistband in place and then I head back to the table to figure out the elastic part, the back of the waistband. So I have my top laid out. This is the side seam, the sleeve, and this is where the front waistband stops. You can see I fell short of the side seam. And here is the elastic waistband. So it's going to connect right here. I'm gonna serge all of this. Then I'm gonna lay my elastic waistband on top, overlapping it about a quarter of an inch or not quite a half an inch. I'll come back and turn this under and I'll have to top stitch it. One of the reasons I did not wear this dress on Thanksgiving is because I had my gallbladder removed the Tuesday before Thanksgiving. I knew the surgery was coming, but I did not take that into account when I was designing this dress. And so I didn't think I would be very comfortable in this on Thursday. I got it all put together. It's tighter than I thought it was gonna be, but I got into it. We got elastic in the back, I don't know can't see it but it's there so now the next layer is going to be the medium wash and also for the sleeve will be the medium wash I want those to be starting at the same point so I'm not going to cut the sleeve yet I'm going to get this part going and then I'll put it back on and cut the sleeve and do that okay I decided I'm going to use the bottom three tiers of this skirt for my midsection. Now I'm gonna do a running stitch across here. A running stitch, you turn your machine to like the longest stitch. And I'm gonna do that all the way across. Then I'm gonna pull that loose thread and scrunch this up. And then I'm going to attach it to the waistband of my dress. So here's the new piece I just added. This is where they're kind of matching up. I brought it over here to the table to lay it and cut it. So here we are. If I was a young thing, I would wear it like this, but I'm not so young. So I'm gonna stick a pin where I want to cut the sleeve. And I really wish now I would have done four tiers instead of three because I don't know if my last tier is long enough to hit the floor, which is what I'm going for. But I measured from the floor up to where the skirt stops. Turns out I did have enough to get the length that I wanted. 
So now we have a little bit of a problem. So if you look very closely, this is the top layer, top tier is flat. The next tier down is gathered. That's what gives the skirt, that's how the skirt gets a flare. So connecting this skirt to the bottom of this one, I would need this one to be flat and this one to be gathered. But this is bigger than this. The only thing I can do to make it fit is to cut out some of this, which I don't want to do. Do I? I don't know. I definitely will. I might have to. Ugh, I really hate to. Because I want all the fullness I can get. If I put it on there without cutting it, it'll still be full. I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna cut it. I'm gonna make it work. To make it work, I am just going to gather the medium wash and attach it to the dark wash. I divide each piece into four sections and I pin them together. And then I'm gonna sew all the way around, gathering as I sew. This is not the prettiest way to do this, but it will work. I could have gone with the running stitch method again, but I think it would have taken way too long to trim away the existing hem, do a running stitch, and then attach it. And the final step, I cut the sleeve to make it line up with the waistline. I use the medium wash chambray to uh, finish off my sleeve. In the original sketch, there was a full length sleeve, but after trying it on, it was just so much coverage. I decided that a three quarter sleeve would be best. So we cut the sleeve down. I put a little bit of elastic in the end of it and that is it. I think I was right in saying that this would be a dramatic look. This dress is kind of heavy. Even though it's chambray and not full on denim, it's a little bit heavy and I love the bow. It's a sweet little detail, but I don't know if I would be wearing the bow out of the house. So I made it detachable. And I think this dress would have worked for Thanksgiving. It seems very on theme, very pilgrim-like. Like I'm living on a prairie, working the land, pioneer woman, but in a way that is modern and true to me and my style. I like it. It feels, um, it feels good. And so I will be wearing it out. I don't know where, don't know when, but I'm glad to have it as an addition to my wardrobe. I hope that this video has inspired you to do some upcycling and not always buy new. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.